You're watching our special edition of Smart Money on Women. It's time to address some of your financial queries. Let's welcome our first viewer, Hema, who's joining us from Bangalore. Hi, Hema. Hi, Vivek. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How's your money doing? <laughs> I'm good. Money is not quite good, so I just called up. <laughs> money is not quite good. Okay, we will make it good. Don't worry. Monica is here to tell you how to make it good. Monica, will you tell Hema? <laughs> How she Hi, can make her money Hi, good. Hema, 28 years old and so much responsibility. I saw your email. My goodness, that's a lot of people you're looking after. So let's see what's in your money box. Yeah. You're married, no kids yet, but you look after your mother, mother-in-law, sister-in-law and grandmother. That's a lot of people to look after. And your rent, your loan repayments and the cash transfers to various members of the family take up more than 50,000 rupees a month. And then they, there are your own, own expenses. And you're worrying that both you, Prakash, uh, your husband Prakash and you are pulling in about a lakh a month, but nothing seems to get left to save. So let's see how we can do that for you. Before we get to savings, I want to do, I want to de-risk your financial life, which means that first we build your emergency fund, which is six months of living costs and EMI and um, you know all the transfers that you need to do. But because both you and your husband earn, it may be a better idea to put three months away. As it is, cash flows are a problem. So you begin with building three months of uh, living costs, and that is about two and a half lakh. Put that away in a fixed deposit. Right? Something which you will think in your mind, this is emergency fund, I don't use it. Only if, I, if there is an emergency or a sudden need for that money that you use it. Then medical insurance. Your husband has covers for you and himself, but I would be happier if you bought individual policies for both you and your husband of three lakh each. As you grow towards your uh, mid to late thirties, then we'll think of a top up, but at the moment we are fine. I also worry about the other older ladies in the family. I think you do need medical cover for them. So, you know, money is tight for a premium, but do think of at least two to three lakh each of all the people who are dependent on you. Because if something were to happen, you will have to dip into your savings to look after them. Life cover. Now, I see a clutch of life insurance policies that you have. And one of your questions, in fact, was what to do with them. Now, Hema, the purpose of life insurance is if something were to happen to a person who's earning the money, the people who are dependent on that income do not suffer. Now, the policies that you've mentioned have some assured of 5 lakh, 3 lakh, you know, that's not going to be enough looking at what you're earning. What, how, how do we think of how much, how much should you insure a life for? The rule of thumb is 10 times of the annual income, which means that your husband Prakash should have at least a crore of life insurance and you should have about 50 lakh. And if you go out to buy an endowment or a money back policy with that kind of sum assured, it will be prohibitively expensive. Therefore, I recommend something called a term plan at your age, the premiums will, will be really tiny. It will not be much. So this is a good time to build a long-term life insurance term policy cover for both you and your husband. I would actually recommend that you get out of the policies that you have because the endowment and the money back policies, you know, the return that they give is tiny. It's between 4 and 5% a year. That's it. You would be much better off buying a term plan and then the money which is left in your savings to put it into a product which earns better return. If you don't want to take risk, even a PPF is better at, I think, 8.7% right now, or a tax-free bond. These are safer products if you, at this stage, don't want to think of taking risk. So those policies I'm not happy with, uh, do talk to your husband if you are in agreement. Think of surrendering the policies with the money which comes. Uh, start your uh, term insurance plan and your investments. Now, investing in after, so, you know, you're, it, it is a unique problem that you have a lot of people dependent on you and you have your loan repayments and rent. Now, the thing is that you're 28, you have 30, 35 years of earning ahead of you, and this is a time in your life when money is tight. You know, it's fine. There will be when both you and your husband move towards your mid to late 30s, your incomes will ha rise exponentially, hopefully, and then that savings you know, that you can salt away much more than you can do right now. So don't stress over it. Save whatever it is that you can, 5,000, 10,000 every month. The important thing is to put that away. And where will you put that away? 
start your PPF accounts, both you and your husband, credit as much as you can into it. Start learning about mutual fund products because those are the products which long term will give you capital appreciation. You can start with balanced funds to understand them, but as you get more confident, then you can build your portfolio with large cap and small and mid cap funds. So for the short term, your goal is to build your emergency fund and get your insurances in place. That's for the short term and don't stress too much. The, uh, the increased salary will allow you to save more. Good luck, Hema. All right, Hema, thank you very much and all the best in life to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Bert. All right, let's move on to our next viewer, Preet, who is joining us uh, from Mumbai. Preet, uh, how are you? And uh, I can see from your profile that you've sent us, you're quite a sorted out person when it comes to your money. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I'm from Mumbai and I'm 32 years old. And I'm married. And right. uh, my annual mm -hmm. income is about 14 lakhs. And my husband is 8, eight yes, lakhs. Yes, we got all your details. Yeah. Let's, okay. uh, yes, let's right. check with Monica what she has to say on your money box. Monica, she seems to be doing quite well professionally. Uh, and she seems to have made certain investments, seems like an informed person or wants to know about what to do. How does her money box look? You're absolutely right, Vivek. Preet, welcome to the show. You're one of the most sorted out women we've had on the show. You're on top Thank of so a lot much. of things in your life. You're moving closer to the place of work, away from the home that you own. You are planning to live on rent. You've targeted a down payment already of the home and that home has been bought, it's on EMI. You bought a car, the loan is going to get over, and you, the, from the email that you've sent, it seems that you plan ahead, you work with that plan, and you take steps to execute it. So all the right ingredients for a superb money box. What do I see? Both you and your husband are working, there are no kids, and you don't plan to have any at the moment, and there are no other dependents. There's a house, a car on loan that finishes next month, and you're planning to, to use the money that you save from the car loan to pay for the rent when you move closer to your place of work, putting the house that you own on rent. Very smart steps, Preet, because where the commute will also you know, include the cost of petrol, the maintenance of the car and all that. You've obviously featured that all in. Let's build on your money box. What we need is an emergency fund in place. You need three months of living cost because both you and your husband are earning. That's about uh, two and a half lakh, you create a fixed deposit. But you're a, you're, you're a savvy person, so you should also try and use short-term debt funds. Those give you uh, a tax, you know, it, it's better for your tax purposes, the returns are slightly higher. And once you understand the products, you will be able to use them seamlessly between your bank account and your uh, broker vendor of mutual funds. So. What you need to remember is you need an emergency fund, three months of living costs plus EMI sitting in a safe place. That's important. Medical cover. Your policies are not looking enough. You need individual covers of 5 lakh each and a top-up cover of 10 lakh. You need to own your own policies. Life cover. Since there are no dependents, we don't need life insurance so desperately. But because you know there is a loan and there, there is an income stream which sustains a household, it's a good idea for both of you to get a life cover of 50 lakh each by a term plan, no other plan. Now, investments, you wanted to know if you should prepay your home loan or should you put that money to work. Now, it's a good idea to prepay your home loan if the money is only going to sit in a savings deposit and not do any work. But you know, you, I think you have the right ingredients to get that money to go to work continue paying what you're doing as EMI, don't increase that, but with the additional savings that you have, you can build your own retirement portfolio. And I did notice that you don't have uh, uh, your provident fund from your work, so it's a good idea to build your own retirement uh, corpus using mutual funds. What is it that you use for goals which are less than 10 years away? You're using a mix of fixed maturity plans, low equity exposure balanced funds, and for goals which are further than that, you're using large, mid and small cap funds. The tax-free bonds which are there in the market are also excellent for between 10 to 15 years horizon. But remember that when there's a tax-free bond, you need a lump sum. 
to put into it. And most of us work with salaries and we have a monthly savings that we do, which is why I like the systematic investment plans of mutual funds because, you know, month on month you can go on salting away the money. So overall, it's a, it's a great money box. The ingredients are good. You just now need to start investing your money in mutual funds, Preet. Good luck. Thank you so much. All right, Preet. Thank you very much for writing in and calling us. We'll be in touch with you. All right, with that, it's time to say goodbye for now. Always remember, wealth cannot be earned. It can only be created. And we at Smart Money will continue to help you to grow and protect your money. We will be back same time next week with many more strategies for your finances. Thanks for watching. I got to know about the Smart Money program through television. I like the way Vivek and Monica used to answer to the queries of the viewers. Uh, so I thought of asking some of the questions which were kind of puzzling me for quite some time. I was pretty satisfied with the way they have answered my questions and their recommendations have really helped me in my personal finance. I thank Vivek sir and Monica ma'am for the help uh, that they gave to me and I just wish that they continue the way they are doing. I can say that smart money really helped me getting my money box in order. To get our expert opinion on your finances, you can send us your queries at smartmoney at btvin.com. You can also call us on 022-4098-7098. You can also SMS us just type SM, give a space, write your query and send it to 977-327-0010.